What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel QGTV33. I am Danielle and today I want to talk about the difference between cleansing versus uncrossing versus exorcism. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's start with a cleansing versus an uncrossing. I wanted to do this video because I see that reversing versus uncrossing is my most popular video so I wanted to expand on that. So let's start with cleansing versus uncrossing and let's use the analogy of a house a cleansing would be just cleaning your house bathrooming washing dishes maintenance type things to keep your house looking nice and uncrossing on the other hand would be an actual repair the roof is leaking something needs to be fixed so that's the difference between a cleansing versus an uncrossing a cleansing like I said is a maintenance type situation you're not crossed, wheezing y'all, <clears throat> um, um, you're not crossed, but the energy in your home or in your life in general is stagnant and you want to clear that away to make room for a new, fresh, vibrant, high, bri high vibrational energy. So a cleansing is getting rid of that stagnant energy, the residual energy. From maybe an argument or when you were feeling down in the dumps or maybe something you know pissed you off at work and you brought that negativity home and it's still you know in your house if you didn't get rid of it it's still there it came home with you you can believe that so that's what a cleansing takes care of residual energy stagnant energy maybe you know you had the flu or anything and you were feeling like crap and that energy is still in your house so that's what a cleansing takes care of that low vibrational energy and it makes room for the high vibrational energy it clears away the stagnant stuff the mucky stuff the heavy stuff and it makes way for the lighter things the abundance the prosperity the healing and health um romance um not even romance just having nice friendships and and people in your life that should be in your life you know they're not toxic so that's what a cleansing does it makes room for all of those things to take place it's not going to actually bring in you know cleaning doing a, a, a clearing ritual won't necessarily bring money in your house but it could look that way because there was some stagnant energy in your life or in your home and you got rid of it and it allowed for the um, financial gain to make its way into your life so a, clearing, a cleansing can do that not to be confused with a blockbuster or a road opener we'll talk about that another time but a clearing does get rid of the low vibrational energy that does impede progress in the areas of your life that you want to see be successful so that's a cleansing and uncrossing like I said would be akin to making some type of house repair something you know like a leaky roof so an uncrossing would be uncrossing or unhexing or unjinxing yourself now you could be crossed up by someone else you could be crossed up you can cross your own self up and if someone else doesn't and obviously if you do it doesn't mean that you actually sat down and broke out black candles on yourself or that somebody else did for that matter but you can cross yourself up with negative thought patterns, self-doubt, self-sabotage. These things is going to have an effect on you. Okay? So your thoughts become reality. So if you're thinking about a bunch of bullshit about yourself, you're crossing yourself up. You're cursing yourself. You know? So you, you have to speak love into yourself. Okay? And, and you have to do that first and foremost 
and not look to anybody else to do it for you. If, if someone else, if even just one person, and that includes your parents, <laughs> actually speaks love into your life, unfortunately in the world we live in, that's quite fortunate and a blessing. So you have to do it for yourself first. You can't look to anybody else. So don't cross yourself out. Bless yourself instead. Now other people, like I said, they don't have to be breaking out black candles and, and making doll babies and things in your image. No, they could just simply hate your fucking guts, okay? You have some nasty people in, in this world. The bitch in the cubicle next to you that's always giving you the side eye. That's a curse. You think she looking at you like that because she like you? <laughs> no, she doesn't like you. She's preying on your downfall. Those are curses. That's crossing someone. That's the good old-fashioned evil eye. You don't like someone. You don't want to see them prosper. You hope <laughs> that everything bad happens to them and nobody else but them. Like Dave Chappelle said. Uh, I love that episode. But that's a cross condition. And an uncrossing will get rid of that versus a cleansing. Cleansing is just maintenance, you know? You're just washing your ass. It's not that you need surgery on your ass. <laughs> the uncrossing is surgery, okay? It's not maintenance. It's, some, it's something more. So, an uncrossing will take care of any cross conditions, you know, whether it's intentional or not. It's going to take that jinx off of you. So... Let's talk about uncrossing versus an exorcism. Now, the key difference between an uncrossing and an exorcism is this. An uncrossing takes off a condition. An exorcism takes off an entity, okay? A condition, excuse me, it's just that, it's a condition. It's not a thing. You're broke, that's a condition. Being broke isn't some independent entity that has its own will and is going to do to you what it wants to do to you and take from you what it wants to take from you. No, you just broke. That's just the condition. So um, another example, uh, illustrating the difference between an uncrossing and an exorcism. Now let's stick along the lines of um, financial things. So, you have a business. Say you have a salon. And you're not getting as much business as you were. That's a condition. Your salon isn't haunted. Your scissors aren't possessed. That would require an exorcism. So that's what an exorcism is. It takes away an actual entity that's independent of you, has its own will, living, breathing, with or without you. That's what exorcisms take care of, and it could be an exorcism of a house, an object, a person. And I would recommend not doing them yourself, because it's nothing to play with. I get someone that's, that's skilled and has been doing it for years. I wouldn't just do an exorcism by myself. I've never even witnessed one. And nine times out of 10, you haven't witnessed one either. So why would you think you could just <laughs> just get rid of something? That, that's, it's, the entities that can do all of that, they're strong. So no, you need someone's skill. So that's the difference between cleansing, uncrossing, and exorcism. And since I brought it up earlier, we can talk about the differences between cleansing um, block busting and road opening at another time. So I hope that this video has helped you all and has provided some clarity. Um, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for watching. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, share these videos. And if you have any suggestions, you have any questions, by all means, let me know in the comments. So until next time, I'll see you in We'll be talking about these Senegalese twists too. These are crochets. So I'll see you next time. Bye.